I wonder if I got the camera. Okay. She's just seen a whole lot of Bunda. Probably not in a good way. I feel like I'm doing like a school interview. Presentation. <laughs> presentation, but it's a narcissist presentation because it's on myself. And I know some people might say just stand, like just put your pod, my pod, just put your pod, put my tripod next to the mirror, uh, next to the window, but I mean, there's actually no good reason that I could not do that, but like, there's no desk, like, where am I gonna put my, like, can put these on the window, which I'm not standing for three minutes. I've already been speaking for three minutes and I've not even said hi, so I'll pass on that option, um, even though no one actually gave that option and I just made that in my head. Just a little, just a wee wedge, just a wee wedge. Speaking of wedge, do you know what wedges I actually hate? Greg's. Like, what is that all about? And also, what is this angle all about? Do we like this, guys? Oh, be for real. I feel like it's, it's picking up every imperfection that I possibly could have on my face. Anyway, hi guys. Um, oh no, jewelry. Oh, oh this feels like old times. Hi guys, um, we're back. I am going to be answering the Q&A that you all desperately wanted me to ask. Literally me pleading that someone asked me a question. Um, so I've got them here on said iPad. That's actually Netflix. Barry. Do you know what is so rude of it? The last, the, the last vlog I uploaded, I didn't even say hi. <laughs> I literally just started vlogging in the car and then videoed Ronnie. So, hi, I'm back. Ooh, I hope you saw this. Miss this channel so much. Um, because I did, and probably no one else did. But I've got my Q&A questions here, so I'm going to answer them that I literally begged to get. Really embarrassing. I thought to make it fun though, rather than me just sitting answering questions about myself, quite, I was quite obsessed. Told him my makeup while we chat, because I actually am supposed to be meeting Ronnie in 20 minutes, so she might kill me. She actually texted me, so I'm going to quickly get back to her before she punches me. I'm going to start off with my base quickly, so I'm just going in with like normal makeup products. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, you've probably seen this same routine like a thousand times, so apologies. But I never really change it up. This is like probably the most unattractive way to put on a face serum. I just don't like getting my rings all, um, like, I was going to say saucy, but like sticky. So I just do this. And then I'm also going to go on with some moisturiser. I mean, I'm kind of starting to hate this, which is a bit of a shame, but I think I just like, I love changing my moisturiser up. Like, I literally love using a different moisturiser each, each time. Okay, let's answer our first question. Um, the first question I got was actually hilarious. And I am I'm like thinking if I should answer it or not. I'm not too sure. Like, I'm sweating. I think it would be actually quite good for views though like i feel like i'd get more views that was like clickbait i'll start off with an easy question like this is some, so some of these are from tiktok some of these are from um instagram thanks for all the questions i actually have quite a few like i don't think I'll, i won't be able to go through all of them but unless that would be extremely important but thanks guys so first question i'll start what was one of my first i mean i'm not doing the first question not yet <laughs> Oh, I'll start off with a fun one. Favourite pieces in my wardrobe. That's quite a fun one. Okay, yeah, favourite pieces in my wardrobe. This tank top. This tank top has literally been my ride or die. And it's still white. Like, it's literally still white. Honestly, Monkey recommend Got on ASOS. Best thing I've ever bought in my life. Um, I think this is a really good basic too, like winter and summer. But I would say, like, my favourite pieces, like, as in items... Um, not like actual brands or like say like specific. I love a skirt. I'm a skirt person through and through. I've been loving jeans again too. Actually, I'd say I'm a skirt tank and jean combo kind of person. Um, and I do love a fun shoe. I love a bit of color on my shoe. They're like my top, my top favorite like wardrobe pieces like for styling outfits. But if you can't really. If you're not really creative or you can't really think of something, I feel like you could just do like a basic, basic top, basic trousers, and then like fun shoes. It's always quite good. Okay, actually, I need to like hurry up process. I don't think I can talk and multitask. I'm not very good at this. I'm just gonna do my makeup like normal and then 
I'll answer questions. But yeah, let me know if you do want an actual makeup tutorial. I mean, I doubt it. It's really nothing special. Um, I actually was thinking about the other day when I was a freelance makeup artist. That was hilarious. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> Next question on it. Like, let's change it up. Oh, this is fun. Favourite makeup makeup products and trends you want to see fade. So my favourite ones and then ones I want to see fade out. I love e.l.f. I'm loving e.l.f. right now. As you can see, I'm using the Halo Glow. Um, I love e.l.f. And I love Charlotte Tilbury. I've been really enjoying Charlotte Tilbury. Also, one of my favourite products right now, I'll show you. This milk... Um, contour stick is unbelievable like genuinely has changed um my makeup routine sorry i cannot find anything this is so careful yeah honestly changed my makeup routine i got it in manchester and i have not stopped using it ever since it's so good really recommend if there's one thing i can recommend to buy which is a little bit more expensive i'd recommend this yeah as for like a trend i want to fade out do you know what not to be that cheesy person but like I actually don't really care like I'm not really a, a trend judger because some of the stuff that I like is questionable like the shoes you know the mules that have got the like the hoofs that are really popular I quite like them I can't think of anything that like I'm bored of yet nah like there's nothing that I don't I'm I'm, a, I'm kind of an easy person. Like I'm, I am a trend follower. If I'm honest, to be honest, I ask like more of like a, like a, a juicy, saucy question. Worst meal experience. Do you know what? Oh, I actually don't know. Like I genuinely don't know. Worst meal experience. I might have to come back to that one, guys. That one I'm gonna have to like actually think about. Worst meal experience. I actually could not tell you. Like I've obviously had, like weird experiences and interactions with men but like i can't think of like a worst one bear with something's fun something you would tell your younger self um okay i'm not that old <laughs> did not hear before someone's like you're not even old enough to do that i'm obviously only 21 but like um i feel like we're talking when i was like 16 or 17 like yeah like 16 17 I would just say, like, to anyone watching this that's younger, that's maybe, like, 16 or 15 or 17 or whatever, or you could literally be 20, I don't know. Um, but don't worry and stop stressing because, oh, fuck me, why did I stress so much for being 16? Like, I was so stressed and always... I think I, I would tell myself to just enjoy the moment more. I think I was always, like, looking forward to, like, the next thing rather than just enjoying the day. Like, if I had a holiday or, like, had something coming up, like, I would just fix it on that one thing and then just stress the full week. And then that, and then once that thing was gone, I had to find another thing to keep me happy rather than just enjoying each day. So that's why I would tell myself, just relax and enjoy life as it is present yeah and don't worry everything will work out anything that i feel like maybe i was stressed over like college or school exams don't worry because it's not that deep honestly <laughs> best work friend you've ever met so um for anyone that doesn't know me and ronnie actually only met in july which is actually quite crazy because we literally went to manchester and um, which some people were like what and i was like who knows i think we were just super impulsive um but yeah, me and Ronnie met and work and she's asked me who's my best work friend. And I really hope they're watching this, but it's Max. So thanks Ronnie for answering that question. Dream brand to work with. Oh my god. I was actually thinking about this yesterday. Um again, guys, I've done one step. I have done one step. I need to right, bear me, I'm gonna scratch up the process. Dream brand to work with would probably be yeah, I was thinking about this yesterday. I would absolutely love to work with Urban Outfitters. That would honestly, to be able to work with Urban Outfitters would probably be a dream. Um, why is the lighting went weird again? Sorry, I feel like the lighting's went kind of funky. Also, I'm going closer and closer because I feel like it's getting dark, darker. You just can't see me, which is that a good thing or a bad thing? Who knows? But 
sorry, soft track. Yeah, Urban Outfitters would be an absolute dream. Julie Brand, I would absolutely love to work with Boho Moon. Like, I am a Boho Moon ride or die. I love Boho Moon so much. Also, Abbott Lion. Love Abbott Lion's Julie so, so much. Um, I do love Every Jewels, but some of their stuff tarnishes. Like, I love them and I'll still buy from them. And, like, it's just one of those things, so that I don't know if I would ever... If, like, I got the opportunity and, like, I mean, like, the future to actually come out with, like, my own collection, that would be so fun. Like, I, a jewelry collection, I think, would be up there just as much as, like, clove wise. But just, like, for collaborations in general, yeah, would love Urban Nightfires. I don't think they do much, though, to be honest. Um, also, Mango would be such a good one. Like, I honestly love, love Mango so much. Monkey would be such a good one. Um, oh, I've honestly got so many. The list, the list could never stop. Um, but yeah, they are some of my fave. I used to love, um, like I used to dream about doing a collaboration with I Saw It First. Like that was like my genuine goal in life. And then when they repost me on their, well, actually kind of salty. No one knows this, but like, well, if you don't remember this, like, let me know. Tell, tell me in the comments if you remember this. But basically like three years ago, what was it? Yeah, like three years ago, I was a photo of, of like me in this little like cord and I saw first seen it and they liked it and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. And then a girl texted me and said, hey, I've just seen you on I saw it first website. So I never knew. So this had been up for like two weeks. I never knew that I was on the website. So then I obviously contacted I saw first and being like, hey, can you like either send me some fucking free clothes or take this down? Because like, you can't just take and they didn't even ask me for permission because I probably would have just let them do it if they had asked me but I think I was just bitter because like they hadn't even went out of their way to be like hey Angel like we love this love this pic can we use it on our website it wasn't even on their Instagram it was on their website honestly it was, and it was worse like so when I look back I'm like bless I mean still love the cord but like I think it was a tan that was a scary time um but yeah it's so cheeky that they done that so I used to want to, I, I, I literally, I think it was after I seen um, Chloe Freighter, or Freighter, I always forget how to say her second name. Um, I seen her collection and like, I loved hers. So then I was like, I want a collection with I thought first. But ever since that moment, I've been like, no. But saying that, I don't really shop there anymore. So it's okay. Any other juicy questions that I can answer? There is the elephant in the room question, which should I just answer? Probably. Okay, fine. So someone asked, why am I nervous? I feel like I've not really spoke about it that much. Like I think I spoke spoke about it briefly on my TikTok. Um but it wasn't like fully. I think people just know. Like people just know. You know? Like you just know. Like I would just know too. I think I'm speaking riddles. Anyways, the first actual question I got was Oh best breakup advice. Um, I love how like I'm acting like I'm a celebrity and everyone's gonna be so shocked. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. There's gonna be a plot twist to come, by the way, just wait. <laughs> um so yeah, me and actually you sort of seen Adam because Adam was in my old YouTube videos. Um he was in a few, I think, like some of the vlogs, but we were together for four years and we ended in July nothing malicious nothing bad like he we were both unhappy i think but like he was the one to like kind of pull the plug um and honestly it was the best thing that ever happened and i say that to him to this day um like genuinely i think it was what we needed because like our relationship was so like fine in the sense of like nothing had, nothing had happened that like it caused us to want to break up like i think people forget like when you've been with someone for so long like things like start to become th the same and like i think our time management was not good <clears throat> we him one thing i'll say and this isn't just for adam they all come back somehow they all know and they all try and come back somehow but yeah, I actually do say to him, like, this was that was probably the best thing that ever happened. And I honestly do mean it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to come across that, like, um, 
you know I can I dealt with like a breakup fine because I didn't and um like there was obviously like a lot but I think I just healed quicker than I thought in the sense of like not moving on um but like just enjoying life without someone that you thought you would be with and it, it is hard and I will my best advice is I am so lucky like I actually could it makes me want to cry when I think about it like I am such a friend person like I am such I just love being around with my girls to put it that way like I love seeing my friends like I see my friends just as much as I see my family I really enjoy being around people's presence and I was so lucky to, I have so many different friend groups and friends so I will say if that's not what you have or maybe you, you you're maybe not um like got a big a big friend group you don't even have a big friend group I am super fortunate and I know I am like I feel so lucky like actually sometimes I get emotional because I'm like I'm just so happy um but yeah I would say for me it was like friends and then also the gym like the gym really took my mind off things like I just kind of stayed focused on myself like social media I think I tried to like keep more as a focus too like I just took my mind off things like I'm not gonna lie I didn't really have like when I imagined having a breakup I thought I would be in my bed for a week I would cry I would cry every day like I, I didn't really do that um I did obviously I was heartbroken and I want to make that clear I was extremely broken um but I just took my mind I was so distracted and I just took my mind off so much so I think that's how I was like able to like maybe process it a little bit better or just maybe seem okay um but yeah I hope if you're going for a breakup that you just remember they always come back <laughs> and also that um what's meant to be will be and I always said that and in our case it wasn't as I said a bad breakup so like I even had the mindset where like well I, I told myself like this isn't a situation where it's like we're taking a break and then we'll see what happens like this was a breakup we you know had I we had we actually had no contact for like at all for like a few months um I know some people like go for a breakup but like they still text um no that wasn't even the case so and I think that was good because it gave us both time to really like think um but plot twist me and Adam actually are back together <laughs> oh actually we're not he's not asked me out so I'll let you know guys could be back on the table again no, I'm joking but like um he's I, I did say to him like I want to change your anniversary date so this is kind of good this has happened because our he, he asked me on my mum's birthday like how cheeky um so um making him well not making him he is what he actually was the one that said to um change the date because this is a new relationship and I always anyone else out there that's like maybe you've realized that you just need your time apart and you actually do realize that that's the person that you that's your soulmate that's the person you want to be with like don't feel like ashamed or like embarrassed or like feel that you know you couldn't go back because of people's opinions because at the end of the day like no matter what the people that are around you that actually care for you won't the, the, all they care about is to see you happy so keep that in mind I guess in my situation obviously if Adam cheated I think my friends would have been like right you're not going back but that wasn't the case so I understand it's different for every situation but like just in general like if you feel like oh like I know this is what I want but blah 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 um saying that though don't if, if you are going for a breakup and they are moving on and you feel like you're not that's not there's no race um like I didn't I know some of my friends after a breakup they like to go on dates or like to like be in like parties and like talk to new guys I was the opposite I just loved seeing my friends and going to the gym that's all I loved doing like it was it was my favorite time honestly like men to me actually made me feel sick during my single time which is hilarious like I actually think I was more appalled by men single than taken because when you're taken you can you can kind of like brush it off if they try and talk to you because you're like oh well I've got a boyfriend but you can you can actually be around the bush when you've not and um, no one tells you about these little things that happen honestly 
guys also guys know when you're single like even people that you you don't know like they just know that like it's weird it's so weird um but yeah i would say t take it one step at a time have good people around you and keep yourself busy but also let yourself get upset like i kind of wish i'd done that like i kind of wish i'd obviously i had like really bad moments i think when i was in work i was probably the most upset because if i had like spare time to think um but yeah and also i never like watched any old videos or photos i wasn't like that i didn't do anything like that like that's just putting yourself in a bad place you know so don't do that <laughs> all right i just had to quickly do some sort of like process because ron is gonna kill me because i'm gonna be late but i'm hoping she watches this and she knows that i love her what's your five-year plan okay five-year plan when i'm 26 i would like to say that i i would love like brutally honest i'd love to be able to be in my own place apartment house whatever i can get i would love that i'm not too rushed like I, I know some people that's like their main priority for me that's not i would say careers like the top of mine so ideally to be in um like dream career during this whole time would be the goal um with social media it's so it's it's very much luck and people don't realize that it is like obviously it is a lot of like effort and i i, I can agree that people don't realize the amount of like behind the scenes and effort that actually is but in the sense of like following and like getting noticed especially on tiktok it's it's, it's just luck you know so for me, if I was able to be full time, obviously maybe before I'm twenty six, that would be very ideal. Um, and luckily, I'm in a position that I have management now. Um, so hopefully, um, Levi's been helping me getting some content and collaborations. Actually, featuring one of my collaborations today, Super Dry. Thanks, Super Dry. So that obviously helps, like having management. It gives you like a bit of like stability and like i also feel less stressed like me have like i don't need to like reply to like collaborations or like like you know like go back and forth and make a deal and it's just it is a lot so it's nice that i've got someone else to do that for me um yeah so that would be like my main goal in six years time to be able to say that either i'm in a job that i love if it's not social media that's fine and um, even if i was doing social media part-time that would be unbelievable or just a creative role like i would love to just be doing a creative role um in some sort of like social media industry if it was either end of i was gonna say the pie but there's no end of a pie either end of the stick <laughs> um, what made you want to become a content creator oh that's so cute i probably wanted to do it since like since i was because if anyone doesn't know this i actually started posting on youtube when i was 14 so i've wanted to do social like well social media youtube from yeah 14 i would say is like when i was inspired but i think when in school i posted a video of like it was like a funny tiktok of me it was like a private school sound but it was like my school i'm not gonna name a school but like you if you know my school you know it's a shithole so it was basically it was like a play on in that um and it blew up so then i gained a little bit of followers on tiktok um which just helped me have like a bit of like courage to want to post and talk um which was nice so it honestly just shows you like just post if you're obviously also wanting to get into like social media or do like content just do it no one actually cares honestly no n none of not so many of my friends now want to do it which makes me like so happy like it actually warms my heart would you ever move away from glasgow so i would love to live in glasgow that would be like a dream to actually live so i'm just outside glasgow but i would love to be able to live um near like south side maybe west side would be the dream but like ideally who knows um but i'm also not opposed to moving to england like i've always said that i would love to move to like manchester or um do you know where a lot i would love to live Brighton. i actually really like Brighton. i mean i would never move there but like it wouldn't be no reason but i actually love the look of Brighton. i just feel like it's so wholesome um which is weird because i don't even like beaches but like 
I know there's a lot of like peddly beaches here, but I don't even like a peddly beach, but I don't know, it's just so wholesome and I want to experience the wholesomeness. Um, saying that I do like being in a city, so I love Glasgow. I think no matter what, if I do decide to ever move to a different country, I'd always come back to Glasgow. So, or we'll come back to Scotland no matter what. So, yeah, um, I'm not too fast. Like, ideally, definitely not want to live in Edinburgh. Edinburgh is not really somewhere I would ever call home. Um, I actually got lost there quite a few times. So, it gives me PTSD, to be honest. So, yeah, um, not too fast, but would absolutely love to live in Glasgow. Um, one day would be amazing having my own little place. So, I'm just wrote single. <laughs> go-to coffee order my go-to coffee order is a uh, iced latte with hazelnut syrup try i do try to do hazelnut syrup free sugar but i'm not that bothered um because then also my dad hates sugar-free items because there's like cancerous products in it he's very much in his food situation right now like honestly there was bread the other day that my mom bought and it was like he wanted sourdough and it wasn't the right sourdough and he was like oh no the sourdough is not good and i'm like it's just sourdough um, but yeah, so love a iced latte with hazelnut syrup and oat milk. Um, Ronnie's converted me to oat milk, which is crazy because I was like a soya through and through. More question to finish this off while I do mascara. Oh, this is a fun one. Reality TV show you would go on if you had to choose one. Do you know what, guys? You are gonna laugh at this, right? This is so funny. I can I can see it now. Um, but. <laughs> Guys, I was going through something, right? This is hilarious. I was obviously going through something. I was going through a breakup. And, you know, most people download, like, Hinge or Tinder. Like, I was like, no, I don't want that. Like, I don't want male attention. I applied for Love Island. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I would never go on that show. That show's not me. Like, I am the most critical person alive. I could never go on a show like that. Um, And I knew I wasn't going to go on it. But it was just, like, the hype of just, like, being like, yeah... I've applied for, and I, do you know what's the funny part? I actually didn't finish my application. Um, I could never get round to doing it because I was just like, I, I think deep down I knew. I knew in my heart, but like. <laughs> um, So definitely not Love Island. I know, I feel like some people would say that for me. I actually would hate Love Island so much. Not, and do you know what? It's not even like the dancing. Obviously, I'd hate all the dancing. Do you know what it is? Being in the villa for six weeks was like, Oh, I would honestly lose my mind. I am such, like, I would, like, want to go out and do stuff and, like, oh, I couldn't just sit and relax for six weeks. That would severely send me over the edge. And not on the time would really send me over the edge. I would love to do... I don't actually know if there's any reality TV show, TV show I would love to do, to be honest. I don't think I would, be, I would be good on reality TV. Like, I don't think there's anything that I would be good at. Um, like, there's nothing that I can think that... I would enjoy. I think I'd just be stressed. Do you know what I would love to be on though? Which isn't reality TV, but I'd love to be on a podcast. That would be my dream. Because that's that a different type of chat. Being on a podcast would be so fun. So patch reality TV, let me get let's have a podcast. I mean I won't don't worry guys, I'm never gonna have a podcast. All I see on TikToks like people with new podcasts and the comments are like just because you can have a podcast doesn't mean everyone should. I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? Ronnie, I'm so sorry. She keeps texting me, but I need to go, guys. But I hope you've enjoyed this QA and I hope that you've learned more about me. <laughs> probably not. You're probably like, shut the fuck up. Um, next video will probably be a vlog, um, maybe like a Halloween vlog. I think I'm going to do a little Halloween vlog. Me and Colleen have got the best Halloween outfit ever, so I will definitely try and vlog. I've got a Halloween weekend this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to vlog it. The people that are going would hate me vlogging um, and I also think Kieran and Amy still have PTSD so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt they don't need to be in the vlogs yet but I think I might try and do like another group like maybe like I'll do like a big friend uh, I was gonna say party like challenge not the see it or shot it I mean I don't know maybe but like that that one did, did give me PTSD and this time I, I need to actually learn how to blurt things out because one of the pe people actually texted me saying is this about me i was like whoa bold but like no but like bold why you would even ask that because what if i said yeah anyways so i need to learn it be better at editing um and then i'll maybe do another search shot it but 
have a good day and yeah you'll probably see me um i'm gonna try and post like i'm gonna give myself like a 10 day the most so like if you don't see a video in 10 days call me and tell me or send me a hate and i'll make sure i get one out I actually don't send me hate because i am still quite fragile so just call me okay bye